Alright guys, so uh, recently I posted a video of this boat. This is my Geico um, Zellos 36 uh, and I just posted a video of this, a uh, few videos uh, on Facebook. Um, and you know what, I didn't think it was going to, you know, uh, get so much interest that a lot of people wanted to know like what I used here, you know, how I sanded the boat. Uh, guys, pretty basic stuff, man. It looks real good, you know, if you want to get some like uh, better angles there, just check it out. Um, but I just use some stuff that you can all pick up at Walmart, Home Depot, whatever you have close by. Um, the boat did just get inlaid uh, by Howard Reckow. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, uh, awesome turnaround time. Uh, I will get into that in just one second. Uh, but I do want to say, because uh, a lot of the guys were really, really interested in, uh, you know, what I used, uh, what I used to wax, buff. Uh, so this is pretty much it right here, all right? So I did prep the boat before uh, applying clear coat. I only applied clear coat, guys. There was no ceramic in here, no uh, funny, funny business. Just straight clear from Walmart. I got this stuff at Walmart, okay? So uh, I just prepped it with some, uh, you know, 1200 grit sandpaper, you know, don't go crazy on it. Uh, you can see here, you know, I'll have to refinish this, uh, you know, uh, don't go crazy on the edges, guys. All right. Um, so I prepped it. Make sure you guys are going to paint. I, I, I painted outside, you know, I didn't want to use uh, the garage. I didn't want to you know, overspray everything in here. So I just kind of, you know, hung it outside. Um, downside to that is, you know, some of the flies get on here, but you can, you know, wet sand and buff them out afterwards. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's all I used. Uh, 1200 grit to, you know, just kind of prep the boat. Again, guys, careful on all these edges. You see all these lines right here? You want to be real careful with that. All right. So this is pretty much it, guys. This is, <laughs> this is it. Uh, 2x ultra cover gloss clear you, you know what um, this is what they had at Walmart you know you guys can use whatever clear you feel you know you want to use you know at your discretion uh, some of the guys were asking me what I use to buff it so uh, I let this uh, cure for about two days okay and after two days I came back with an 800 grit sandpaper okay very fine still all right, so I used the 1200 to prep it for the clear and 800 to wet sand it and then buff it, okay? So I waited two days for that. Like, you know, you guys can see it worked out real good, you know? Um, and then I buffed with the Meguiar's uh, Professional Pro Speed Compound. Um, it's got a high cut rate, okay? So be careful when you use it, you know? Uh, let the buffing pad all right, use one of these buffing pads. Just let that kind of do its work, all right? You don't want to, like, burn the clear out, all right? And then just to finish it off, guys, I went with, you know, again, all these things you can find at Walmart, man. Just basic uh, turtle wax, all right? Uh, I'm going to have, uh, you know, if you guys are really interested, I can, you know, do a couple more projects on these, uh, you know, I guess we'll call it rattle can kings, uh, all right? And, you know, guys, I've been, you know, I've been into so many hobbies, so many different things, and I've used this for so many different ATVs, jet skis. Uh, you know, if you prep, you know, your surface right, there's no reason why this should come off, peel off, any of that stuff. I've used it on, you know, uh, rims on cars, uh, brakes, you know, uh, brake calipers, all that stuff, you know. Uh, whenever, you know, pretty basic, uh, you know, whenever you apply a coating to something, uh, paint you know whether it be green red whatever color you like guys make sure you clear coat it that's really where it's all at the clear coat okay if you guys want to use a good clear that comes out of a you know uh, uh one of the ones that you you know have to mix you know in parts or whatever you know use it with a spray gun however you guys want to do it this works for me uh it cost me a couple bucks you know it saves me a trip to a body shop over spray i mean uh I just had a buddy of mine that you know has similar boat and had some guy clear coat his boat and he says he didn't see results anywhere near this okay so guys if you just want to you know do your own thing you know you don't want to waste all the time money whatever etc you know this is a great option i've been doing this for a long time you know it works for me 
uh, I'm not gonna say, you know, cause there's, like I said, a few different variables, you know, the way you prep your uh, surface and all that stuff, it's gonna, you know, play a role in how long it lasts or, you know, how well it does. Um, but you can see, man, uh, this, you know, really nice finish. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up so you guys can see the inlay. Uh, again, Howard Rec Recow, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, man, this guy does absolutely phenomenal work, great price, and the turnaround time is just absolutely unbeatable, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and take a dive in. There's not a whole lot going on. As you can see, I have all the parts over here. Um, so hopefully we'll be putting this together in the next day or two. All right, and there you have it. Really, really nice detailed work, man. Um, so this, this should make this uh, boat pretty sturdy now. Uh, he did do the tips as well. Okay, so there is, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there are pieces of carbon and Kevlar and epoxy in the tips. All right. So, uh, yeah, as far as the bottom, uh, you know, I'm going to, I still have not buffed the bottom, uh, but we are going to get into that, you know, maybe sometime tomorrow, I'm hoping I'll have a little time to jump into that. Uh, but for right now, you know, uh, I've heard from a couple guys, um, you know, they've been telling me not to buff this, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of uh, new in the RC boat world. Uh, however, I've been using a lot of these finishes and things like that here, you know, for many years. So I'm uh, just kind of bringing all that into the RC boat world and hopefully it works out. I think it will. Um, so anyway, I, I'm probably going to buff the center area here uh, and leave these a little more rough, you know, uh, as per what I've been hearing out there. If you guys want to drop a comment, you know, uh, your opinion, whatever, you know, it's all very welcome. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, you have any more questions, uh, you know, just like I said, drop a comment and uh, I'll try to be as helpful as I can. All right.